What's up YouTube, it's Cody with Bass and Bones again and it is Tuesday, so as always, time for Tackle Tip Tuesday. This week, be super easy. You know, I'm not doing these really for the guys that are super in-depth competition guys. This is more, this little series, I'm really trying to focus it more towards um, the guys who are just trying to get out there and catch fish. So, for some of you guys who are hardcore into the competitive stuff, maybe some of these things aren't for you. I do appreciate you watching, but um, these are a lot of, you probably know this are pretty basic tips. Um, that I'm just trying to get across to people trying to get into bass fishing and help them catch a few more fish. And you will see that this week we are talking about one of the things that have caught probably more fish in the United States since the beginning of bass fishing and that is rigging up a Texas rig. Something that probably the first type of rig that uh, every bass fisherman has learned other than maybe a rooster tail or something. But just want to run through it real quick. I think it's important that everybody knows the proper way to rig it and uh, hopefully it'll help you catch a few more fish. Check it out. All right, so like I said, we're gonna be tying up a Texas rig. You need really just a few things. You need your Biospawn Vial Crawl or Exo Stick or whatever plastic you prefer to throw. We're talking about pegging them actually. Uh, so a Texas rig will be without the peg. I'm gonna show you in a second. I like to peg them almost all the time and that, that's why I'm talking about the Vial Crawl. Uh, it's one of my favorite baits to flip around. And of course you need your weight, tungsten preferably. Favorite flipping hook. Some bobber stoppers, pegs, whatever you wanna call them. And of course, some kind of line, which would obviously normally be on your rod. Um, this is just for demonstration purposes. So what you wanna do with these bobber stoppers, and these are just Eagle Claw, they make all different kinds. Um, you're literally just going to take, I'm going to try my best to get this to focus here. So you can see that right there. You're going to take your line and thread it just through. You can see there's a loop. Sorry. See there's a loop right there. You're going to put your line straight through that loop. Pull a few inches out. So you'll kind of have a horseshoe right there. And you're going to slide the bobber stopper from the metal piece down onto the line. Just pull until the tag in your line comes out. You can see, hopefully. So now you have your bobber stopper on your line. Now that you have that on there, you wanna take your bullet weight and you're gonna thread it in with the pointy end forward. Say pointy end forward. And let it go all the way down to the Leg all the way down to the stopper there. Now that you have that on there, obviously you need a hook. So we'll tie our hook on. And you can tie whatever you want to tie. Obviously a Palomar, or whatever your favorite knot is. Your tag and all. And here's the part. So, this is what we have so far. You have your bobber stopper here, you have your weight, your hook. This is the part that makes it the Texas rig. You're going to come down, try to get close. Sorry if this isn't perfect, guys. Just really want y'all to see what I'm doing here. And start at the point, and you're going to come down about I'm gonna call it a quarter inch. You can see where it's starting to come out. You're gonna put your bait all the way up and run it up on to that little shank of the hook. I like to pull it on down. See there? Now once you do that, you can see I rotated it. Now that's rotated, it's gonna sit flat. So what you want to do is pull this back, kind of line up where your hook is going to come out. Yeah, I probably could have used a little smaller hook on this. This is a five watt, but kind of line that up, and you're going to want to bend this. Insert your hook right there where it lined up to where it would come out perfectly. And there you go. So what that is, it leaves it nice and weedless. And with it pegged like that, so what it's gonna do 
is come through the brush, grass, anything like that a lot better because if you don't have that peg on there, if this comes over, if this comes over a tree limb or something, you can end up like this. You end up with a weight over the tree limb and the bait on the other side. It can get tangled up a lot easier. It just doesn't work. It, this works a absolute ton better for flipping, pitching, round grass, brush. Um, you can definitely do it without the peg, but this is what I do 90% of the time. I'm going to rig that just one more time so you guys can see it. Let's zoom out just a little bit. So once again, down, out. And twist you're twisting right there you line up okay my bait's gonna pop out right there square it up come through the bait that's what I'm doing there too I don't know if you see what I did and you see the hook is sticking out I pull the bait forward just a little bit and tuck it in and that gives it a nice little skin hook right in that crevice of the vile crawl Run your barber shopper down, good to go. Ready to go catch some fish. All right guys, so that's how you just quickly uh, tie up a Texas rig with a peg sinker. It's gonna help you, like I talked about, get through the grass and brush and everything else a lot easier than um, without. Try it out, you can use it on just about anything. Use it on, like I said, the vile crawl. You can use it on exo stick, big worms, all kinds of different uh, applications out there for. Definitely something you wanna have always tied on uh, when you hit the lake, hopefully this little quick tip is going to save you some headaches and help you catch a few more fish. Be sure to subscribe below and check back next week for your next Tackle Tip Tuesday. Thanks, guys.